local coverage you can count on continues with Glenn Marini's Sports Report. Sports coverage you can count on. It's not a surprise when a son or grandson goes into the family business. For the Ball family, the vocation is volleyball. Angola High School senior Dyer Ball is blazing his own trail, and it's a path that leads him right down I-69. What a moment for the Americans, Lloyd Ball hung in there. Growing up, like with my dad, uh, being in his shadow, like everyone's saying, like, oh, are you going to be as good as your dad and everything like that? I think this is a great place to go and try to build my own legacy and uh, try to cement that I am my own person and can be that type of volleyball player. You know, I think the, the beginning memories of, of sitting there in my home in Woodburn, Indiana, you know, just uh, just before you cross the Ohio-Indiana line uh, with my dad, you know, watching on the old Zenith. It's like a dream. When your dad was a three-time All-American at IPFW. Both of you guys got to watch the tip ball off the left side. You got to roll on and play it. And your grandpa has his name on the court at the Gate Center. Dire Ball's choice to sign with the Mastodon's arch-rival Ball State is a sign of in-state independence. And so it's a little harder for him to put on the uh, red sweatshirt or any type of Ball State material when, when he goes there. But he was super um, confident in it, and he loved that I, I picked that place. A six foot six opposite hitter, Ball was born into the game. Yeah, from like, when, like right after I was born to around probably 10 or 11, Probably like most of that time, I was either in Italy, uh, Greece, or Russia watching my dad. But that, yeah, that's my majority of where I grew up. And seeing him wake up super early at like 4 or 5 a.m. going to practice it uh, showed me the dedication that you have to have to getting up, going to practice, making sure you perfect your craft so that when you get to the game, uh, you're spotless and can win a championship like he did. Sophomore and junior year, I would go down to Indianapolis and play club. And after that, I kind of got a niche for it, and I started to like it a lot more. And after this year, or not this year of um, basketball, but after my junior year of basketball, I was like, yeah, this is what I want to do in college. I want to play volleyball. While his last name is Volleyball Royalty, his first name comes from the movie Reality Bites. Now, if you'll come this way, please, we will continue our short but happy walking tour of the career of Troy Dyer. His parents liked the last name of Ethan Hawke's character, and made it their son's first. I, I've seen that movie a couple times, but anytime anybody asks me, I always tell them about that movie and the Troy Dyer, and like no one ever knows about it because it's kind of an old movie. And what I wanted to tell you was that I love you. Dyer's next role, making a name for himself. They always ask if I'm going to be like them or anything like that, but I want to be my own guy. I want to make my own legacy. I want to make sure that by the end of whenever I'm done playing volleyball that people know Dyer Ball, not just Loy Ball's son. Both Arnie and Loy Ball are members of the International Volleyball Hall of Fame, a place Dyer probably wouldn't mind ending up someday in the future. I'm Glenn Marini, and that does it for your local sports report.